Occasionally, you may find that problems with a computer account can prevent a Windows 10 machine from being able to connect to an Active Directory domain. Let me show you what I mean. What you can see right here is that I'm connected to a Windows server running Hyper-V, and I've got a couple of virtual machines up as evidenced by the RDP session icon, which you can see right here. So right now I'm looking at a Windows 10 desktop running in this virtual machine that is domain joined. So let's go ahead and log into the domain. So I'm prompted for my username and password. I'm going to click on other user and I'll enter my domain name. Slash and then a username. And then I'll type my password. And I get a message saying that the security database on the server does not have a computer account for this workstation trust relationship. But this machine is domain joined. So what's going on? Well, what tends to happen is that if you have a domain joined Windows 10 machine and you have a problem with that machine, so you decide to restore a backup. Well, that backup may have a mismatched relationship with what's in the Active Directory domain, because, as I'm sure you're aware, user accounts have passwords associated with them. What a lot of people don't realize, though, is that computer accounts also have a password associated with them. And that computer account password is something that's maintained by Windows. As an administrator, you never have to touch it, but that password gets changed periodically. So if you restore a Windows 10 backup of a domain join machine, there's a chance that you reverted to an earlier point in time where there was a different password. And so now you have an old password that's associated with Windows 10, but your Active Directory domain still has the current password. So let's take a look at how to fix this problem. From a Windows 10 perspective, the first thing that we have to do is get rid of the domain membership. So I'm going to go ahead and log in with a local user account. So now I'm logged into Windows and I'm going to click Start and go to Settings. And then I'm going to go to System, and then About, and then I'll go to Rename this PC Advanced. I'll click Change, and I'll make this machine a member of a work group. I'll click OK, and then I'll click OK. I'm prompted for a username and password. And so now this machine has been removed from the domain, and it's now a member of a work group instead. I'll click OK. I'll click OK, I. LL close this and I'll click Restart. So while that computer's restarting, there's something that we need to do on the Active Directory side. So let me switch over to my other virtual machine. This virtual machine is my Active Directory domain controller. And as you can see, I've got the Active Directory users and computers console open and I've got the computers container selected. So here's my account for this machine. Click on the account and then click on Reset Account and I'm prompted. Are you sure you want to reset this computer account? I'll click Yes and that reset the account. Now technically I could just delete the account and then have Windows recreate it, but if I were to do that then I would lose all of the computer specific settings that go along with this account. So it's better to just reset it if you have that option. So let me go ahead and close out this virtual machine and now I'm back on my Windows 10 machine. I'll log in. And so now that we're logged in, the next thing that we have to do is join the Active Directory domain. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll click Start and I'll go to Settings. Then I'll go to System. I'll click on About, and then rename this PC Advanced. I'll click Change, and then I'll choose Domain, and I'll type my domain name which is posylab.com, and click OK, and I'm prompted for a username and password. And now I see a message welcoming me to the domain. So we fixed that computer account that became out of sync with Windows.